You know, I gotta say, for an animated film series, How to Train Your Dragon has a very weird fetish for amputated limbs, and I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hey guys, I'm back from Santa Cruz, graduated from college, new background, new setup, here to give you my review for How to Train Your Dragon 2. How to Train Your Dragon 2 takes place five years after the events of the first movie. The Viking village Burke has made peace with all the dragons, or at least in their area, and each member of that village has their own dragon as a pet or a companion. Hiccup, played once again by Jay Bruchel, and his night fury dragon Toothless are practicing flying when they come across a couple of dragon trappers who tell them about the villainous Drago Bloodfist. Bloodfist has the goal of capturing as many dragons as he can, building up a dragon army so he can basically start a war and take over the world. Simple as that. Now this is the sequel to 2010's How to Train Your Dragon, which is a movie that I missed in the theater. I didn't see it. Um, it was at a point where I just didn't go out and see every movie possible. But um, everyone told me it was a great 3D movie and I regretted not seeing it in the theater once I actually saw it on DVD because... I mean, 3D aside, it's a fantastic movie regardless. It's my second favorite DreamWorks movie next to Shrek 2, and it's one of my top 10 favorite anime movies in general. Just really, really good movie. If you haven't seen the original, then see it, especially if you're planning to see the sequel. Which, on that note, I think 2014 so far has been a really great year for sequels that are not only as good as its predecessor, but possibly debatably better. And How to Train a Dragon 2, while not as good as the original, still really good sequel regardless. Everything that was great about that first movie carries into this one. The flying scenes are incredible, and seeing in 3D really made them better. Uh, it made me realize that when 3D is used right, then it can really enhance the experience, like with James Cameron's Avatar or with last year's Gravity. That was a really good 3D movie. So when it comes to 3D in general, I feel that the best use are for flying sequences, for scenes in space, and for underwater scenes. Those are the three scenarios I think utilize the 3D the best. There are many things, there are many elements and twists that happen in the movie which I don't want to go into and spoil because it was so nice discovering these little things that happened as the story progressed. But uh, one thing I could say that I really loved, I love the designs for all of the new dragons that are introduced in this movie. Like the first movie, the design team really did a great job in designing these dragons. And I really love how m the main dragons have personalities. I mean, like Toothless and some of the other dragons that are featured in the movie. Aside from the character of Gobber, Seeing the dragons interact with other dragons or people is where the humor really plays in. And the humor is very funny and very well done, considering that these How to Train Your Dragon movies are the most mature movies that DreamWorks Animation has put out. I mean, there's hardly any pop songs, there's no dancing sequence at the end. They're just really Viking movies in animated form that are very good. Like the first movie, there are consequences and it does feature emotionally powerful moments. Some of which might even make you go, whoa, did that? Did they just do that? It also does what a sequel is supposed to do and progress. Not repeat, but progress. I mean, Hiccup is more mature in this movie, aside from looks. Um, he's more mature and courageous, willing to take risks, and not acting all cowardly and stuff like he did in parts of the first movie. Now, while this is a good sequel, there are a few elements in the movie that I didn't really like. Uh, most of them, I'd say 99% of them are nitpicks that aren't even worth mentioning because they're, they're nitpicks. But the main issue I had with the movie was the villain of Drago Bloodfist. I didn't think he was that great of a villain in my opinion. I didn't think his design was that interesting, and he didn't seem all that threatening. I feel like I've seen this character in another animated movie uh, somewhere. I want to say Mulan, but it's been a while since I've seen that movie, but I feel like I've seen this villain before. However, if I was willing to give this villain some slack, 
it's that this movie is more about Hiccup's journey into really becoming fully mature and assuming the role of leader. So the villain is not really the central focus. I mean, he does fulfill his job, and he never brings the movie down whenever he's on screen. There's never a moment where I'm like, oh, this guy sucks, get him out of here, go to the next scene. I mean, he fulfills his duty, he's just not particularly interesting. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is not as good as the original, as I mentioned before. The original just had those elements of surprise, uh, even featuring stuff that I don't see that much in animated films today, let alone DreamWorks. But this one is really good regardless, and does the thing, again, that sequels are supposed to do. They progress the story, expand the film's universe, and flesh out the characters even more. It's currently my favorite anime movie of the year, yes, even above the Lego movie, and is this year's ultimate 3D movie. If you were allowed to watch one movie this year in 3D, so far, it's How to Train Your Dragon 2. So this movie is worth seeing in your lifetime, and go to the theater to see it in 3D. You will not regret it. And that's my review for How to Train Your Dragon 2. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought of the movie, subscribe to my channel for more stuff in the future. You can check out my other channel, AlexG8462. You can find links to my Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram accounts on this YouTube page. Go check me out on letterbox.com, letterboxd.com, under the name The Real Mr. Robinson. Share me with your friends and tell them about me, and remember to know it before you see it. This is The Real Mr. Robinson, and I'll see you guys later.